Hello everybody, Tiger Gamer here. It's been a while since I made a video, but first, before I begin, I would like to say Happy New Year, and I hope you had a beautiful Christmas. Sorry I didn't make any special videos for that, I was too busy and stuff. But yeah, so today I'm going to show you how to make a Fortnite logo for your channel or stuff. It's really awesome, and I just learned how to do this, and it's really cool. And I would like to share my method to you guys. So first of all, we're using Paint.net. Now you guys know what it is. I always mention it when I do these types of videos. So I'll try to put a link in the description if I don't forget, which I will probably do. But let's just begin. So basically, go on Paint.net, do new and the canvas needs to be 800 by 800 because that is the logo size for youtube logos i believe so now we're just going to make a fortnite logo so i'm just going to pull up google right here and we're just going to find fortnite scene like a scenery so basically we just go on google here and find a nice picture that we like I'm going to type 800 by 800 so we don't have to like um, make the picture smaller or bigger because it's better if you find the perfect size. So we'll just search for a beautiful scenery and you could also like search example tilted towers and it should come up eventually. Okay, there we go. So we have a picture right here. You don't have to save it, but you just do copy, then head on to paint.net, do paste, and uh, here you go. Now, this has to be on the background because we're going to use this as a background. So now we're going to make a different color to this. But before we do that, we're just going to search up Fortnite skins and we're just going to choose a skin that we like and we will do the background color matching with that skin so let's just go on here and just choose a skin that we like i personally like the um, black knight i think so let's just do black knight and we find the uh, png for him that's posing so this one yep it has like a checkered background so we do copy image and then with a brand new we go new and this and then do Control v that's good now before we do that let's go on google again and see in the item shop what color the background was it was orange so what we need to do is go on paint.net again add a new layer then select the color orange grab the fill tool and just fill it orange now you're probably saying you just ruined the picture no i didn't it's on a brand new layer so we just do overlay you double click this do overlay there we go it's pretty nice so you could like mess around with the colors and stuff but i'm going to leave it like this as i don't want to ruin anything so let's add a new layer and then we will go on shapes select white this is like uh, optional if you want it but it adds like a cool touch to it so i tend to do it but you can not do it if you want to so you go on shapes rectangle do draw field shape and make sure this is approximately 85 i believe yeah that's pretty cool just do a rectangle in the middle then like try and center it as best as you can this looks centered enough stupid truck out my door um okay we have a rectangle in the middle now we grab the black knight Control c and then we add a new layer Control v keep canvas size always do keep canvas size because it does mess up if you don't do keep canvas size and you really don't want anything to mess up at this point so just do this what i tend to do is the square right here make it as big as your actual square so you do this and just mess around with it a bit until it is kind of the perfect size and here you go that is pretty cool if i say so myself 
but before we do that let me just see this no okay it has to be like this so basically the background let me if i can make this bigger okay the background then the color make sure it's set as overlay above that there's the white rectangle if you want it that's optional and then the skin because if you like do something wrong it might mess up not sure about that i don't want to try as it's going so well so far and i really don't want to ruin it okay so then we have that now what we can do is add a new layer font i mean text and choose the font uh, the fortnite font which is burbank uh, something burbank big i think let me see okay we have the burbank burbank big cdbk that's the fortnite font now we just choose a big number like 144 that should be enough now i'm just gonna write tiger gamer for the purpose of this video but you can obviously do whatever because it's your logo and you decide what name you want so i'm going to do it all caps because it looks nicer because if uh, you do not do it all caps it's kind of ugly but it's not that ugly it's actually pretty good as well but i like to do it capital letters at as it kind of looks more um, what's the word cool i guess so just mess around with the uh, font uh, sizes and one trio seems to be pretty good so far might do it one two five just for the sake of the video okay that's good make sure it is left aligned because if it's center it will go there right will go there left aligned is perfectly in the center where you need it so what you do now go to effects object outline object and then just choose the white outline i messed up here it's supposed to be white text and okay if you do this mistake you select it and you do this now you're not gonna see the tiger gamer written but it will show eventually you go object outline trails select the black and i tend to do it eight uh, eight the width and that's pretty cool now we're not gonna leave it white basically gonna select two colors that we like so it's probably going to be orange and white again maybe i don't know i'm not sure we're gonna go with red yeah red will look cool so then just grab your magic wand select the inside basically i did i select this one and then i held shift and i selected this one and it all got selected grab your gradient tool make sure this one is selected or choose whatever you want it doesn't make a difference and make sure you go from top to bottom and not from bottom to top because it will tend to mess up so basically do this and like do the gradient as best as you can see as you can see the colors are kind of changing but we just go from top to bottom see what shade you like and you keep it like that so we'll do this mm, that seems pretty nice and voila that is your logo so make sure to do save as and then title it whatever you want and then make sure to save it as a png because if it's saved as a another thing as paint.net pdn it will like you know let you edit it and stuff but we're gonna go for png so then we do save okay flatten and voila now what you could do is which i forgot to mention if you do the text you could go on effect and then go like um, object trail and you could make like an awesome trail but i can't do it as i saved it but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video subscribe leave a like also turn on notifications comment down below if you would like to see more paint.net tutorials and i will see you later peace out